Hello YouTube, in this GFX instructions tutorial, I will be showing you how to make brushes and fractals using GIMP. First of all, I'm going to teach you how to make fractals. So go to File, New. I'm going to make mine 1000 by 800. Fill it in with black. Now make a new layer. Go to Filters, Re and Render, Nature, Flame. Um, go to edit, and there's a variation of things that you can do with the fractals in GIMP. Um, so once you're in edit, you want to go to variation and you just mess around with it. I'm going to use hyperbolic. Let's, these don't, eh, these don't look very great, so I'm going to use power. This one's interesting. Now press OK once you chose one. Now go to uh, once you're in rendering, you can choose the brightness and everything like that. And set mine as the same. And now you can zoom it in and out. And now that I have that zoomed in as much as I want, I'm going to center it. Make sure you're doing this on the new layer. Press OK then, once you're done. Sorry, this takes kind of some time. Okay, now you have a fractal. The reason why you had the black background just to see if the fractal looked okay on like a background. You can do this with anything really, but this is without a trans this is without a background or a transparent. I'm gonna fill this in with white. It goes with a variation of colors. Whoops. See, that's how you make fractals using GIMP. Now that I've showed you how to make fractals, it is time for brushes. So go to File, New. I'm going to make mine 500 by 500. This is very big for what I'm actually doing. So make a new layer. If you have GIMP like I do, go to Windows, Dockable Dialog, I recently closed Docs, and layers, channels, paths, undo, and etc. Now that you have this open, you want to go to the brushes section, press this little icon down here, and if you hover your mouse over it, it says new brush, so click that. Now you're in the brush editor. This requires no skill at all, just saying. Um, if you, want, you can make the shape, you can make it like a diamond, make it big, spikes, like a star, or like a starburst effect harness this is the how strong it is aspect ratio to make it like deadly angle you can do this any way you want really it doesn't really make a difference spacing I have no idea what that even is so I'm gonna call this spike don't even have to save it um, so just exit out of the brush editor, and your brush is right in here, so I'm going to use orange, and I'm going to get my brushes tool, and I'm going to just stroke like that, and that's how you make brushes in Git. I'm going to make one more, just so you get the hang of it. Um, I'm going to make a s square one this time. like a pentagon. That could come in handy for some things. I can't really give an example. Just saying. Just finish that up and name it and then you're done. I'm going to name this Spike 2. Do that and that. And once you're done, go to Image. Auto Crop Image. That goes right around your brushes. So if you're making like a brush pack, that's like the perfect tool for you. So I'm GFX Instructions and that's how you make fractals and brushes using GIMP. Thanks.